This is Antarctica. It is so cold that my snot froze. I just got home to the States, and it's actually colder here than it was there. And I'm not even in Chicago. The coldest air in decades. Whiteout conditions. 20 to 40 degrees lower than normal. So what on earth is going on? I mean, like literally, what the heck is our planet up to? If the planet's supposed to be warming, why is it so cold? Polar, polar vortex. Deadly polar vortex. vortex. Polar vortex. This polar vortex has dominated the news headlines for the last week, but there's a lot of confusion about what it actually is. To atmospheric scientists, the polar vortex refers to these high altitude stratospheric winds that are spinning really fast up near the North Pole. They trap a pool of super cold air over the Arctic. Sometimes it splits in two, and that forces colder air south. But this polar vortex has become, well, polarizing. It's counterintuitive. If our planet is warming, then why is it so cold outside? The trend even this year with our cold this year, this winter is still among the warmest ever. It's not negating global warming. There are really only two areas on the whole globe that are colder than normal right now. Everywhere else, for the most part, is warmer than normal. Just because a particular weather event bucks the trend doesn't mean that the planet, on average, isn't warming as a whole. And in fact, some scientists are starting to argue that this polar plunge is caused by climate change. Here's the thinking. As the planet warms, the poles are warming a lot faster than the mid-latitudes, so places like the US. So the difference in temperature, or gradient, between the North Pole and, say, the Midwest is much less extreme than it used to be. That causes the polar vortex to weaken. And this makes our jet stream, which is at a lower altitude than the polar vortex, weaker and wavier. And that drives our weather in the United States. But this is still a hotly debated hypothesis. I think that the jump between saying that by slackening that temperature contrast from the um, mid-latitudes to the pole, that doesn't necessarily mean the jet stream is going to become wavier. It's certainly played out this year, just like the hypothesis says, and last year too. It looks like it's global warming, but I don't think anyone yet has enough data to nail that to the ground. One thing is clear. The scientific community agrees that despite the Antarctic temperatures in the Midwest this week, the globe on average is still warming. But if you are in one of those places that's experiencing record cold, try to stay warm. And check out some of the links in the description for more on the science of the Arctic vortex and how to survive the Antarctic cold. <laughs>